Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a costly mistake that a lot of uh, traders make when they are trying to day trade. Okay, so I think day trading has attracted a lot of people, right? The idea of, um, you know, making profits daily, right? To, to see the uh, markets and your profit go up every single day or basically to, you know, kind of like replace a job Right, you know, the idea of uh, having something to do, you know, take, taking a lot of trades every day, um, that kind of idea of uh, day trading really appeals to a lot of uh, new traders, right? That's what uh, gets a lot of uh, new traders hooked on the idea of uh, becoming a full-time trader, okay? So while the idea is, uh, you know, very, uh, you know, it sounds very attractive, okay? Uh, a lot of traders make a very important, uh, you know, not really important, but they make a very big mistake when it comes to day trading. So in this video today, I'm going to share with you uh, what that uh, mistake is and how you can avoid it, okay? So first up, uh, we are at forexfactory.com. So uh, if you are new to trading and you do not know what forexfactory.com, uh, forexfactory.com is actually a website that allows you to see the uh, economic news as well as provide you with insights about uh, the market. Okay, so make sure you check that out if you are new. Okay, uh, we'll jump into the charts just after I explain the concept of uh, the different sessions in trading. Okay, so as you can see over here in the uh, Forex Factory website, if you go under markets, you can see that there's actually uh, four sessions. Okay, so in trading, there's actually a uh, kind of rather three main sessions. Okay, you have the Asia session. Okay, Asia uh, is kind of Tokyo. Tokyo is Japan. It belongs to the uh, Asia session. Okay, uh, normally uh, it's a common practice for people to merge the Tokyo and Sydney session. Uh, Tokyo, uh, rather the Asia session with the uh, Australia and New Zealand, right? So you call it the Asia session. Then you have the London session. Then you have uh, the New York session, okay? So now, depending on uh, which part of the world you live in, okay, uh, this time zones, uh, the timing might be different for you, but uh, it's the same concept. You have uh, the Asia session, you have the London session, and you have the uh, New York session, okay? So when you see it like this, right, for example, from 8 p.m. to uh, 12 a.m., you see that there's actually a overlap, okay? So what does the overlap mean, okay? You have here, so you have the uh, 3 p.m. to about 5 p.m., you have the overlap. Okay, so what does the overlap mean? The overlap means that uh, both, both sessions are being traded at the same time, right? So in this case, London, uh, they are trading. New York, they are also trading. That means that the traders in London are trading and the traders in New York are trading at the same time, okay? So that is what is known as a crossover, okay? So that's the concept of uh, sessions. So let me talk about uh, the mistake that uh, most traders make, okay? So now I'm on, on this uh, trading platform called TradingView. Now, if you're new and you don't know what TradingView is, uh, I have a video about TradingView. Just make sure to check that out, okay? It's a free, uh, it's a free platform, okay? It's a web-based platform, so you don't need to install anything. It's uh, just go to the website, get a free account, and start using it, okay? So, the mistake that a lot of uh, new traders make is that uh, they, they enter, you know, just before a new session is about to start, okay? So I have an indicator over here, okay? If you want this indicator, it's free. You just uh, come to this platform, okay? You click over here, indicators and strategies, and you type sessions, okay? The one I'm using is this one over here, the first one, okay? If you just uh, click, you will see that... Uh, they have the three major sessions that uh, I was talking about, the Asia, the London, and the New York. Okay, so each of them has a different uh, color code. Okay, so let's just go through it. So for example, now I'm in the uh, Asia session right here. Okay, so the mistake that a lot of uh, new day traders make is that uh, they enter just before the start of a new session, right? So you can see over here that, uh, let's just take here as an example, you enter somewhere here, right? you sell here just before uh, the uh, euro sessions open, okay? And what happens is that uh, just because the Asia session is, you know, bearish, doesn't mean that the euro session is uh, bearish, okay? So if you sell during uh, the Asia session, in this case, you probably got wiped out here, right? Because uh, prices started rallying, 
Okay, so the number one mistake that a lot of traders make is that uh, they do not consider the trading sessions, right? They just trade. Okay, if you want to be a day trader, then you absolutely must pay attention to the different sessions. Okay, you can use this indicator. Right. Make sure you do not enter just before the session. If you want to enter during a session, give it at least an hour before uh, the session, you know, like kind of settles. Right. Let the first candle uh, form and then look for the direction. Okay. In days where you make the most money is actually where the uh, Asia session is, uh, for example, bearish. Uh, the Euro session is bearish so, and the US session is bearish. That's where you make the most money. Basically, you have an alignment of the three uh, sessions right the asia is bearish the london is bearish and the us is bearish okay on days where you get a big whip saw right you don't really make much money and you see that um your your p and l right your profit and loss is going up and down you will probably have a you know a strong fight between the asia session uh, the london session and the us so for example maybe the asia session is uh, bearish the euro session is bullish and then you know the uh, us session it's kind of a mix, right? So that's when your PL gets really, you know, it doesn't really go anywhere. Okay. So you want to avoid uh, trading just before the opening of a new session. Okay. In fact, uh, if you're new, I would recommend you to stay out of the uh, Asia session. So as you can see over here, the Asia session is the uh, kind of like the purple one. Uh, rationale for this is because the uh, Asia session is uh, li little liquidity and most of the trading happens between the uh, crossover between the uh, London and the uh, US session. So you can see this brown, okay, it's brown actually because it's the combination of this light green and the uh, uh, pink, okay. So you don't really see a brown here, but it's actually a crossover between this and this, okay, the uh, green and the pink. And therefore, this is actually the crossover. And after the crossover, you have the uh, US session before it closes and you have back the uh, Asia session. Okay. So if there's only one, uh, you know, you want the highest probability of setup, right? You want the market to, you know, show you clearly which, uh, uh, which direction it is. You want to pay attention to just the crossover. Okay. So for, for me over here, it's actually 8 p.m. 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11, and then you know after that, uh, midnight, uh, the U.S. session is just trades on its own. Okay, you want to focus just on uh, this. Let me just uh, draw it for you. Okay, you just want to focus on this. Okay, if you only want to take the highest probability. Okay, if you want to trade the Asia session, though I don't recommend it, make sure that uh, by the time it comes to Euro session, uh, you kind of either take profit or you shift your stop loss to break even so that you prevent uh, issues like this. Okay, you can see it here also. Let me just talk about another case example before I end off this video. Okay, uh, you have uh, this, uh, you know, Asia session is going nowhere. Euro session is selling. You see what happens if you enter just before uh, the US session starts. You see US session just rallies. The US session wipe out the entire, uh, you know, movement of the uh, Euro session. Okay, so these are just two case studies of uh, what has happened. But if you, you know, you just go look through back, Right, it's it's not advisable to trade. Uh, you know, just an hour before uh, the uh, new new session, right? The new trading session, right? So if you're a day trader and just want a uh, just to catch that momentum for the day, then you want to just patiently wait for the session to start. Give it an hour, and after an hour, then you um look for the direction. Okay. So now, if you're new to our channel and you're still struggling. We have a free day trading guide in the description below, right? Just uh, check out the link, right? It's free to download, right? That will put you, uh, you know, give you the right strategy to uh, get started day trading, okay? But you also want to incorporate uh, these principles when it comes to day trading, okay? If any questions, just comment down below. I'll be happy to address them, okay? If you have any other videos you'd like uh, us to make, right? Um, we'll be happy to address it. Just, just comment down below, okay? We'll see you in the next video.